Today I have the Evergreen Collection in front of me. I've already worked with this a little bit, so as you can see, some of the stickers are missing off that sticker sheet. But I'm excited to bring in this lantern and see what I have for paper. So we have this nice pine one along with those polka dots. We have this gray one with the music notes. I love that zip strip. I love that it tells you the coordinating colors in that paper pack so there's no guessing. You just grab your cardstock and go. We got some of that sweater kind of pattern with some wood grain up top. And I love this one with those sprigs and pine cones. So that's what I have left of the paper. I absolutely love these pine cones, so you know I'll be incorporating those again. And that sprig, I love using that one. I really like this layout. I had done one like this with the Home for Christmas collection. I think for that background layer, I am that background border. I'm going to bring in this pine paper. Just going to remove that zip strip and then I am going to gut it. So let's go ahead and get that gutted right away. So I like to go in about an inch and then over an inch. Then you don't waste all that gorgeous paper. All right, we have all this to use on the next project. There's one. I will pause the camera and get the other one gutted here. All right, I got that all gutted out. Design element stamps. And there's this border of sprigs that might look nice going all the way around in that pine color. Go ahead and cut this 11 by 11. I am going to edge this with my pine ink. So I just brought in one of my little foam dabbers. This is another thing I love about Close to My Heart is their ink matches their cardstock, matches their stickers, matches their pattern paper. All the colors just coordinate so nicely. All right, I'm going to bring in my design element stamps. I do have a couple different options. I have the more delicate one up top for pines and then the thicker one down below. I do think I'm going to use that more delicate one. I'm just going to pick that up with my block here. And then I am going to rub that on my hand just to season it and remove any manufacturing powder. I'm going to flip my Versamat over here so that I have that foam on the back just to get a better impression. I'm just going to stamp along the bottom here, get out my pine ink. Now you just hold your breath and stamp away. I am going to hold that down for just a moment just to let that ink soak into the paper. You don't want to push too hard with these delicate stamps it will kind of smush them out a little bit. So just light pressure, giving it time to soak in. I am going to take my toffee ink and distress around these four pattern papers here. And then I'll take my acorn paper, which matches these pine cones, and I'll go around and create photo mats for the photos that will go on these four pattern papers. I'm not sure what photos I'll be documenting on this layout yet. This layout reminds me a lot of winter, Christmas, it is December here and we still don't have any snow. That's really unusual for South Dakota, but I'm looking forward to making those winter memories and getting them documented on this spread. Okay, I have all of these acorn mats cut to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All of these photo mats are three by three. So what I'm thinking is just a nice little border around those. Okay. 
All right, I got this white cardstock cut down 11 by 11. That's gonna go there. And then I cut a whole bunch of my pattern papers two by two. So I'm just going to line those up randomly. I don't want them any rhyme or reason. Um. I've changed my mind and I am going to do a vertical photo here and I have the acorn photo mat. I'm going to distress all of these edges with my toffee ink. All right guys, I got everything um, distressed, all the edges distressed, I got everything adhered. So now we're gonna start embellishing. Um, I have no idea where the embellishments are going to take me. I'm thinking for sure one over here, probably a title element. So let's bring in our sticker sheet and start there. And let's take some adhesive off. We do have a anti-static pouch on our website. I did not purchase one yet, so I kind of made my own here. Here I peel that title sticker off. I think about putting it here, but I really want that lantern over there as well. I did try moving the lantern over to the right hand side, but it's a little large for that section. So I'm just fussing back and forth, playing around, and then I decide, well, no matter what, I do want to edge these. They just pop off the paper a little better. I knew I wanted to include some of those pine cones from that thin cut. So I brought those in and started including those into each of my clusters. I started by adhering that top right embellishment and I popped the Winter Wonderland up on foam tape. Over on the left, I decided to add two pine cones and I popped one of them up on foam tape. Let's take a closer look at those clusters here. After all the fussing, I do like how this turned out. I like the stamping along the side. It just brings it all in. Let's bring that other page up here. The distressing along each of those two by two squares just adds so much detail to it. Now I'm excited to add my pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you inspiration. And until next time, live a life worth scrapping. Bye guys.